In this video, I'm going to talk about how to go viral with VO3 plus Flow, a tool from Google which can get you started to extend the videos from going from zero to hero or a creator in just few hours. And VO3 has taken internet by storm where creators have gone viral and making thousands of dollars. And I have spent around four plus years of time in this generative AI. And I've also given a TED talk. If you are interested, description below and also wrote a book on how to demystify generative AI for everyday usage. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to break down step by step how you can extend the video more than eight seconds, one of the limitations in VO3 and help you get started to build uh, shorts or a reel or, or even a lengthy form of video for your YouTube channel, for example. But before that, let's understand what is VO and flow. So VO we discussed in few of my earlier videos as well. You can go and check back. VO is the state of the art model which can help you get started to develop videos of eight seconds with VO3. You can have also got audio in built in that video. That's the power of VO3 which was missing in VO1 and VO2, the earlier version. So this is VO plus flow and primarily focus on flow and how you can extend the VO capabilities behind the scenes. So flow is an AI filming tool built for creatives and storytellers designed for generating next wave of videos. It is specially custom designed for Google's most advanced model, generative AI models talking about behind the scenes, it has VO, your text to ima image to video models, plus it has got Imagine, text to image, and Gemini, the state of the art model from Google. And it is custom designed for VO, the Google state of art generative model with exceptional prompt adherence. We spoke about that in the last videos and stunning cinematic outputs that excels at physics and realism. And flow enables the storytellers to explore ideas, create cinematic clips, scenes, and maintain the consistency by integrating created assets into different clips and scenes. It has got few characteristics as well. Camera controls, master your shot with direct control over camera motions, angles, and different perspectives. It has got scene builder. Seamlessly edit and extend your shots. More than eight seconds, you can keep on adding, revealing more accents or transitioning to what happens next with the continuous motions and consistent characters. And it has got asset management as well. Easily manage and organize all your ingredients and prompts. And of course, the Flow TV, right? Where you can spark your creativity with ever-growing showcase of clips, channels, and content created with Vue. So remember, Flow is a tool which can help you extend your videos generated from Vue and use as Gemini and imagine behind the scenes to give you that the wonderful feeling of using the reels, shorts, and reels, shorts, and long form of videos in directly one tool. Before going in demo, let's see this, the output, so that you can get a look and feel how it looks like. And it is the raw output from Flow. And you can make it more edited format as well. I achieved I... it, yay. Woo! You have no idea what it was like. Standing on the precipice of that cliff with the wind and the sunset, I've never felt anything. Isn't it amazing? It gives the same character continuously across three different scenes and maintains the consistency. And this all has been done with the help of Gemini and Vio and Flow and the single tool you want to use. And of course, you can make more edits if you want. The tools like CapCut or tools like Filmora or something else which you prefer to make it more fine-tuned and all those things are also possible. But I will show you what you can do with Flow in this demo. So before that, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to generate a prompt for VO3 which I can use in Flow. I will give the URL to Flow as well, uh, which is available for every user as a free tool. You can also have a paid one, but the most of the things we are going to do is with the free version. So what I'm trying to use is VO3 prompt to generate an image of a person standing on a mountain cliff and describe the character in as much details as possible, like age, some name, origin. I have given Indian. You can give something else with a dress outfit all in one paragraph. So let's see the output. And I'm using gemini.google.com to generate the output for this image. And it is 2.5 Pro. Don't use Flash because Flash will give you an image directly. But rather use that prompt and then fit into view where you can use those things directly getting, use that prompts directly into the flow tool with the help of a view. 
so here you go i have got this prompt and what i will do is i will quickly move in so you can go to go to labs.google.com url and click a new project we'll start from scratch so that you get a look and feel and everything you will be using here is frames to video so what i will do is i'll prompt here and i will generate a new image based on the prompt here so i'm trying to generate an image out of the tool but you can also upload but that would be slightly trickier sometimes the best way using flow at this point which i have experienced is use and generate an image first and use that photo to generate your next set of scenes so what i will do is what you see here is the image of a person standing on the clip and i will use this image here you go. And then so I've come back to now gemini.google.com. I'm trying to separate the characters, the accents, and all those aspects so that I can get and get a detailed view of the video scene by scene. So you can see the breakdown, the characters, you see here the accents. So I will modify something in this, but let me copy this and go back to flow tool. So I am back here in the flow. I will move this and copy this, and I will say. The person should shout happily at the end of the video. I have made it successfully. So let's wait for the output. So you can keep generating these, and there are different ways you can do that videos. So first thing to note, you can choose the model here like VO3, VO3 fast. Uh, VO3 fast is slightly better because it gives you faster. But uh, if you want a more better quality, I would strongly suggest to go with VO3 quality. That's the one VO3, as I said, over VO2 is you get more of an audio capability as well. And apart from more uh, character consistency and photorealistic and physics aspect, which is spoke about, you get audio. So that's the beauty so that you don't have to do a separate lip syncing. Once you generate audio separately, video separately and do the lip syncing. So that aspect is that pain is gone, actually. So let's wait for the and you can also generate multiple number of outputs. So you can see one, two, three, four. I have kept it two for the safer side, but you can go for three or four or something else if that's your preference. I have made it successfully. Let's play the second one. I have made it successfully. So I find uh, the second one better. So I will add two scenes. And I have made it successful So something called scene builder, right? We, we spoke about scene builder that helps you to extend the videos and all those things. So the next step, which you see in this uh, demo is and click extend. So you can get an extended of eight seconds, up to eight seconds, the next frame, right? But you will have to build that frame by frame. So to do that, we have to again go back to our Gemini to generate a prompt for the scene two. So what I've done is I'm trying to give a prompt here and, and trying to separate from characters from accents. And what I'm trying to do is uh, the second prompt, he has happy, he has conquered the mountains, and now he is interacting with the locals in the streets of Chennai in India, right? So you can sometimes you get these visuals and audio, you can do this, and you can also choose from characters and accents, right? So let's try something different here. For examples, I want to go with visuals. In this second part of this, I want to go with visuals and audio. Let's see how it goes out. So the second scene, you are all is happy and I started interacting with the people in the streets in the local area of Chennai. So let's see that video. And I can keep VO3 fast. You can keep the output two to four. As I said before, it's up to you completely. <laughs> Just a few hours ago, I was on top of a mountain. My first time ever. Can you believe it? The view was incredible, and now, <laughs> just just a few hours ago, I was on top of a mountain. My first time ever. Can you believe it? The view was incredible, and now I'm here. That's wonderful, young man. Very good. Just a few. Second one seems good to me. So what I will do is I will add to scene. If I play that, let's see how it works. I have made it successfully. Just a few hours ago, I was on top of a mountain. My first time ever. Can you believe it? The view was incredible, and now I'm here. That's wonderful, young man. Very good. So let's do one more iteration of for scene three, right? So to do that, as I said, you need to extend it as so a third frame, and you can add that and again go back to Gemini 2.5 Pro, probably for more prompt re-refining for VO3. Uh, for example, in my case, I'm thinking to add that person Rohan and enjoying in the nightlife, party life, something on those scenes. So you have to build that story, right? 
so it's about all story so that flow can help you give you visualizer and audio for the story behind the scenes using state of the art models like imagine vo and gemini for you so let's try with one last scene so that you get a hang of thing how it uh, how you can build and stitch it and you can further fine tune it as i said with tools like CapCut or tools like Filmora and something. So this is my scene three for VO prompt. And let's see. Uh, so what I'm trying to do, as I said, what I'm trying to say is already conquered the mountains and then he's moved to the streets of Chennai. Now he's going to enjoy the nightlife party life. So again, I'm trying to use the same context of Rohan. And here I have part one and part two. Part one is uh, sitting from balcony and then he transitions to the nightlife. So let's generate this last part of the video and frame. And again, you can keep choosing like one, two, three, four videos, but I kept it two. So let's see and wait for the output. So the video is back and let's see the output of both the videos. To Rohan, from mountain to dance floor. Cheers everyone to new heights. To Rohan, from mountain to dance floor. Cheers everyone to new. Let's see the second video. It's done. I've quit my job. I like this, the second one, because I gave a context to have sitting on the balcony to start with and then transition to the party scene, right? So let me add here the scene and scene builder. So I've added all the three frames. Now play it out, how it happens. I have made it successfully. Just a few hours ago, I was on top of a mountain. My first time ever. Can you believe it? The view was incredible and now I'm here. That's wonderful, young man. Very good. It's done. I've quit my job. <laughs> so I made a complete frame, right? Of 24 seconds reel. Similarly, you can have more frame by frame control for if you want a long form video, that's completely possible. And if you want further edits of those type of things on the videos or cuts or something like that, you feel you can do with the film editing tools, uh, tools like Filmora and something else. I use Filmora personally. Thank you for your time for this Tech Byte series. Keep tuning into the channel. My name is Pritam again, and I talk about AI and latest trends. And this was about VO and flow going viral and people are making thousands of dollars and going from zero to pro in just few hours. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.